A Frog Named Harold is the second episode of the second season of the Doris Day Show and by this point we're starting to get used to this different style with this with the TV show because now she's at work, she's got the job, the setup is clear. Still no Leroy, I'm kind of thinking maybe we've said goodbye to Leroy now, I'm hoping that's not the case but I'm not holding my breath. And in this episode it starts off at home, we get to see the boys and Buck and it's a nice way to start it and a frog has gone missing. The pet frog called Harold has gone missing. But we, the viewer, can see that it hops into Doris's handbag. And she shuts her handbag and goes off to work. And there's a, a pretty great scene um, where she's in a really important meeting with her boss and people from the bank. And the frog starts to rib it. And she basically ends up having to chase this frog all around the office. It's potentially jeopardizing this loan that they're trying to get for the magazine and of course ultimately she needs to capture Harold and take him back home. Will she be able to? I think it's a, a relatively interesting narrative but I feel like it started to wear a bit thin towards the end but then how it ended I thought was a uh, was pretty interesting and I'll, I'll discuss that with a spoiler warning of course but it did give us a chance to get to see a lot more of the office and different different locations that we don't normally get so it was very varied and Doris's outfits were fabulous I love the powder blue jumper she was wearing um visually just really really appealing I'm not the biggest fan of frogs in general so that part of it didn't actually appeal to me but having it focusing on an animal is definitely in keeping with the Doris Day brand um Doris Day is obviously a very big animal fan founded the Doris Day Animal Foundation, which is still going. There will be a, or should be, um, a fundraiser on this video for that charity if you do wish to donate to it. So the animal aspect, I thought, yeah, we're still kind of keeping in theme with a lot of the other previous episodes, but with this twist. I don't love it as much as I love previous episodes, but I think that's more because of the narrative. It felt a little bit repetitive and I didn't really care for the frog. Not that I hoped anything bad happened to it, you know, but had it been a cat or a dog, I would have felt differently. But it's a frog and I don't really like frogs that much. But it was okay. I liked it well enough. I'm still, you know, not fully decided on how I feel with this change of pace for the Doris Day show. But we'll see. Um, so the ending, this is a spoiler. I'll discuss the last scene now. So this is all I have left to say. Spoilers from now. The scene in the restaurant uh, with the frog's legs I just thought was was brilliant when it cut to that scene and they were in the restaurant I thought has the second or the third episode started this feels like a like a different episode but no it made a lot of sense and I rather liked it it was a nice little ending so A Frog Called Harold is not my favorite episode but I don't think that's necessarily because of the change of narrative style or the change of locations because those aspects of it I actually thought worked quite well still going to go in with an open mind into the rest of the second season um, but at the end of the day it's Doris Day. <laughs>